Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Yeah, welcome to Charleston for you who are visiting us. Um, so, um, breaking down plastics, that's, that's not a very easy thing to do. So, um, I got to share with you, in addition to being mayor, and I don't know that this helped qualify me to get here, but uh, I was a chemistry major at Georgetown University, and... Um, you know, you take these hydrocarbons and you make these polymers, and uh, that's how you create plastics. And a polymer, by almost definition, is a very um, uh, sturdy uh, structure that's hard to break down. And that's why this is such a daunting um, challenge, um, because once they get in the environment, it's hard to get them out. And... Um, you know, it's, uh, I'm going to show my age here a little bit, and, and most of you um, may not remember when The Graduate first came out, the movie The Graduate, right? So here's Dustin Hoffman. He just graduated from college, and uh, they're having like a celebration party for him for his graduation. And so he engages in this conversation with Mr. Robinson, right? And, uh, of course, at this point, Mr. Robinson was kind of oblivious to what Mrs. Robinson uh, was, was up to and thinking about. Um, but he was giving uh, Dustin some advice. You know, the future, the future, boy, is in plastics, you know? And this was when I was uh, a young teenager. And, and so, in a way, even though the commercialization of plastic products had already started during my childhood, um, it, it grew over the next couple of decades. And in fact, um, plastics from a business and a commercial use, um, in a way, was, was the future. But, but what folks didn't realize was the unintended consequences of this material that is whole, so hard to break down. And then when it does break down, it's so ecologically detrimental to um, aquatic life and, and, and so many other things just from a litter point of view. Um, um, I, I guess I do roll up my sleeves a little bit. I, when I take my morning walk west of the Ashley, I take a bag and I got one of those little things and I pick up trash. And in, in my own experience, about 75% of what I pick up is, is, is plastic. And I go down uh, 17, you know, right along the marsh, and I try to get what's along the roadside. But if you just look over the embankment down into the marsh, I mean, there's bottles, and it's, it, just, it just blows my mind. I, again, I'm going to show my age because I remember Lady Bird Johnson in the 60s with the great Keep America Beautiful campaign and how we all kind of got with it and and became more conscious about throwing trash and all like that and it just kills me today that people are still so um, mindless about about throwing trash out in 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 open spaces it's it's just, I don't know what we're going to do about that but we're going to continue to work on it so um anyway we we've ended up um you know I grew up in a plastic generation so to speak and we became a th you know, we used to call it when, when I was a teenager, maybe in the 20s, that we had developed somewhat of a throwaway mentality, a throwaway society, that you would use something one time and just throw it away. And it still blows my mind that I go into a, a you know, a, a restaurant and it's, it, it's obviously cheaper still for them to buy a plastic cup and, and, and plate and silverware. And these are Pretty decent restaurants, you know, uh, at least for lunch, and um, and and they could have a plate and some silverware and clean it and reuse it, and we're 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 just throwing away all this plastic. Of course, hopefully, it's not getting into the ocean, um, but but the whole mindset still exists in our society of of um, you know misusing, you know, short-term use rather than recycling and and being mindful of our environment. So anyway, I'm, I'm excited that you're here. I welcome you to Charleston. We do have a daunting challenge. Kevin uh, mentioned the numbers of what's out there, and because of the makeup of the stuff, 
breaking it down is uh, is 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 a terrible challenge. So so I believe we we really got to do our best in keeping it from getting there in the first place, you know. And so whatever we can do as a city and a society, we need to engage with that. So. Um, didn't mean to get so serious on you. I probably took more time than I should have. Next up is our own city sustainability expert. She's been in, in the trenches now for, for, uh, for a while and everything sustainability from sea level rise to breaking down plastic. I present to you Carol Lee Williams with the city of Charleston. <laughs> 